So I'm very pleased to meet all of you, especially because I think you're coming from many countries all around the world. And I'm you know, very interested in knowing what you think about our model, editorial and economic model as a newspaper. So first, maybe uh, let me talk a bit about me, uh, who, I, who I am and where I come from. So my name is Karine Fouteau and uh, I've been a journalist for many years now. Um, I'm working for Mediapart since its creation. It was in uh, 2008. It was uh, created in Paris and uh, it was founded by a you know, journalist. And uh, before that, uh, I was working for economic newspaper, which name is Les Echo, which is a business newspaper, daily business newspaper. And I left this newspaper in 2008 uh, when this newspaper was bought by LVMH. Probably you know LVMH because, you know, it's this huge luxury company owned by Bernard Arnault. And I thought that being a journalist and working in a newspaper, business newspaper, uh, working uh, with Bernard Arnault as uh, shareholders, I thought it would be very difficult to stay independent. So I thought that it was time for me to leave this newspaper. And it was at that time that Mediapart was created. So again, it was in uh, 2008, so we have 15 uh, years now. And uh, I've been working as a journalist writing on migration, um, f on, on this migration field. So all around the world, I've been doing you know, reports and analyses and investigation on uh, migration issues, asylum, migration, economic migration, all this stuff for you know, almost 10 uh, years. And then I've been uh, designed uh, as um, editorial editor uh, chief editor of uh, Mediapart for five years. The five next, uh, uh, five previous uh, years, I was working as a chief editor, which means that I was kind of coordinating and taking the responsibility in terms of what Mediapart was publishing. So it was a, a, a great step. And then uh, um, now we have two new uh, chief editor, and uh, now I'm in the ex executive board of, um, of Mediapart. So uh, maybe I can tell you a bit more now uh, that I told you about me, where I come from, and you know, to have, for you to have the context and to understand to whom you're uh, talking later. Uh, I'm going to tell you a bit more about, um, uh, about our model, our you know, media parts model as a newspaper. I think it's very impo important because that's our distinction. We are totally independent for all, from all powers. Uh, and that's very, I mean, uh, David, you told that uh, we had this model and we were one or two or three in France. I mean, frankly, the, the, the model I'm going to tell you about is very unique uh, because we're totally independent from all powers, 100% independent. Our only revenue, the money that comes to us, only comes from our readers. That's very unique. Le Monde has, you know, advertising and you know, a lot of, you know, very great and uh, established media in the world, like The Guardian, which I, you know, like very much, of course, but they have advertising. So we have no advertising. We have no uh, shareholders, uh, you know, the people at the head of the company, like with a lot of uh, euros and uh, dollars who, who could direct and, uh, you know, uh, have impact on uh, what we are publishing. We don't have that. We don't take public money. That's uh, probably very different from what you know from your own countries, because in many countries, most states, they don't give money to the newspaper. In France, we do. And we may think that it can be a good idea in terms of democracy to have, you know, a plurality and a, 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 to make, a, you know, little newspaper to have the, their chance to, to speak. Uh, but we thought, as Mediapart, that we should not take even this money. Even it's for good reason that uh, the state give money uh, as kind of a welfare state. But we thought that it was not a good idea to take this money. Otherwise, our readers could think that maybe we could be influenced by, um, by, the, by, the, by the state in a way or another. So Mediapart, it was created in 2008. It was created mainly by journalists 
Uh, so I was there at the beginning. We were um, 20, 20 person, uh, 15 journalists and uh, five technical person. So it was very, very small crew at the beginning. And now we have 65 journalists and the whole crew, you know, with all the staff, like marketing, you know, people dealing with our uh, readers and, you know, uh, the administration desk and the technical desk, of course, it's very important for us. So now this whole uh, crew is one, um, 135 people. So 135 people in all and 65 journalists working mainly on investigation because that's what we're doing. What we try to do is to, you know, to reveal information that are uh, keep kept secret by you know, governments, uh, governments or people who have the power mainly to uh, to 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 make decision and uh, who are elected to make a decision and we think that in France uh, the, this uh, are the cities the citizen in France should know what uh, how decisions are taken by whom they are taken and how they are taken and that's what we are for to you know to reveal uh, secret unrevealed uh, information. So now, um, now Mediapart has 220,000 readers. That's very important for us because our readers are the ones who pay, who are paying for our model. So uh, we, we are not, um, our model, uh, the consequence of our model is that we are not so interested in terms of audience like who's reading us like in the all. What we are interested in is that our readers, readers who are paying for us. Maybe uh, you had uh, the, the, the yeah, you, you went before uh, this class, you, you go on, on, on the website on Mediapart to see, and maybe you understood that, you know, if you want to access our, our articles, our contents, you have to pay. You have to, you know, you have to uh, not pay for one article, but you have to pay monthly. Each month you have to pay to make sure that you receive uh, your information. Because we think that if you want to have quality journalism, you have to pay uh, for it. Because, you know, we are salaries and we are doing that full time. And if you want to have this high level of information, of course, it should not be free. When we were created in 2008, it was kind of a bet to, 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 to have paywall. Now it's, you know, all over the world. Yeah. Now, you know, huge new newspaper, they have paywall. But 15 years ago, it was not this uh, idea around. It was the start of internet, not really the start, but still we were in the beginning of that. And there was this utopia that maybe, you know, information could uh, go for free for everybody I was kind of you know very horizontal place uh, with chain, with exchange of information for free so it was kind of a bet to say okay we like this place we like the utopia of course of the internet but as journalists if we want to make uh, and to publish high level information we want to get money for it and we want only our readers to pay for this model so that was the bet, and uh, I think uh, now um, it, 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 um, in, uh, we have the proof that it's, it's working because now we have 220,000 subscribers and we have been profitable for 11 years. So it means that we are basically we're making money through our uh, model. Making money, what does it mean? It's not, when again, we don't have shareholders. So this money is not going to the pocket of, you know, billionaires or, or whatever. It's going, you know, on our salaries, on all the salaries uh, pocket uh, in terms of, you know, salaries, uh, wages. And uh, also it's uh, going for us to invest on new field of investigation. So this money uh, of the revenue we get from the readers, it's invested in our own model. It's never go, you know, to other people uh, we would be, uh, you know, upper uh, than, um, than us. So uh, I should also really, I want really to focus on the fact that we are really 100 independent because uh, it's a very unique model. And um, even in Europe or in the world, I, I mean, uh, during the conversation we will have after, I would be very interested 
uh, to hear from you about you know your own country and the media in, in in your own countries and I would be very interested to know if some of you know uh, a newspaper who are totally independent like us so it means that uh, we have no advertising which means no pressure for from the adver ad advertiser because I mean as probably you, you know that when you get advert in your newspaper it's kind of difficult to be very critical against the people who are you know, putting money in your model. So that's one thing, and it's very, for us it's very important. Once again, we have no um, uh, funds from the, from, we have no uh, money coming from shareholders because we do not have shareholders. We, we do not take uh, state uh, subsidies. And also it's very important for us, and we think that's really, uh, a fight we have to go on uh, like, uh, for us and you know, for all media in the now and in the future. Uh, we have to be very independent from the GAFAM because uh, as you know, they're you know, having some kind of monopoly in terms of a diffusion of the news. So we have to make sure that we are still very independent and they try to finance. They are very keen on financing all media. They want to give us money. Like they really want to give us money because they want us to be uh, dependent from them. So of course we won't we won't take any money from from the GAFAM. So please, um, then I'm I'm going to tell you a bit more about uh, about media part about the way it works and hopefully you'll go and maybe you, you you did already. But it would be great if you know after you can go and visit media part and see how it works because. As I told you, we have a paywall, which means that you have to pay. Uh, but first of all, uh, we have special price for students. It's five euros. And also we have a lot of contents which are for free. Uh, like a lot of videos, we are very deep full. Like, you know, it's not like short term TikTok videos, like very long videos, very uh, in-depth videos. You can have them for free. And I'm sure that going on Mediapart for just a while, uh, like 10, 15, well, half an hour, and you, you can visit it for free for a pretty long time. So please uh, make sure that you understand well the model in, in having a, a good look in, 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 inside, inside the, uh, the website. So mainly what we are doing is investigation, as I told you. We think that we have to be useful to the public and to the citizen. And uh, of course, what we want to do is to reveal things that uh, are not already uh, published because uh, otherwise we don't really see the point of publishing information. Also, we do report and we do analysis because also we want to reveal information and at the same time we want to give sense of, you know, the world, the way it is, the way it goes. So we think that, you know, uh, we have to explain and uh, we have to make sure that our readers, they understand the, the world they are uh, living in and just not to understand it but hopefully we want that the readers if they understand the world they are living in maybe they can gonna act uh, you know in the world they, 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 mm. they are living in that's what we want to do to give sense so that people understand and that they can act like you know very individual and uh, mm. uh, 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 conscious uh, people um, the, the, the issues on which we are writing, um, you know, are democratic issues. We, uh, writing, we are writing a lot about corruption uh, Sorry, We have a lot of corruption stories. That's really the way we went public with huge scandals uh, concerning mostly France, but also international issues. We work on uh, social justice. We write on discrimination. I've been writing on migrations for many years and now uh, still I'm not writing on a daily basis. Uh, in, in this field, we have, all, all, of course, uh, some, someone doing, a journalist doing that, who are writing on police violence and sexual and, um, and um, uh, harassment against uh, women. Uh, of course, we are writing on uh, climate change, far right. Uh, and also we are writing uh, about um, um, media stuff because we think it's important in an area uh, where opinions take, you know, a huge place um, in the field. When you, you know, people they have, uh, it's very complicated 
to make a difference between facts, what we are doing, we are writing about facts, and opinions, especially in France, in a, in a time, you know, with Bolloré, probably you heard about this guy, uh, he's having now a lot of media, he has, he's having a lot of radio, uh, the te television and a, a newspaper, and this guy is really from the, the far right, and uh, he's having a lot of power in the, in the uh, public space field. So we, 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 we really, uh, again, this kind of information, we think it's not information, basically, we think it's comments, we think it's opinions, and what we try to do is, of course, to publish facts. That's what we think is important and what we, should, um, what we should do. Of course, also, we want to make a difference with uh, all questions about climate change, because we think we think it's you know the huge is issue for us and you know for now and for the future, and uh, uh, from the beginning of Mediapart we have been a lot of uh, journalists writing on, on this issue of climate change. One uh, David know from a, from a long time, um, she's a kind of a, you know specialist in her field. Her name is uh, Jade Lingard, and uh, now uh, we are adding two journalists. That just you know, it, it, it's it's been doing this uh, this uh, this um, these days. We're adding two journalists, uh, very very good investigators, working on these uh, climate change uh, issues, and really we hope that we're going to make the difference, you know, with all other media on the thing because we really think that there's a lot, you know, to do. And of course, far right, we, uh, we have in France, uh, we have this uh, in mind that in uh, 2027, maybe we will have, you know, a far right president. So uh, our main combat, uh, our main fight, I think, is to make sure that it, it's, it, n it will not happen. So how can we make sure that it's not happen? We have to uh, be interested in, you know, the way she's working. I mean, we're talking about Marine Le Pen, obviously, the way she's working where she uh, get her money from, um, all the influence she gets, like inter intellectual uh, influence and the way she works with other people, with MPs and everything. And we, I think we have, you know, a few years, not a lot, but we have two or three years to, to you know, to get these stories that yeah, could uh, impeach, in a way, uh, Marine Le Pen to become um, president. So. Also, maybe um, I would like to tell you more about our editorial principle. As I told you already, we make a very uh, a good point in having a huge difference between facts and opinions. So we are, uh, the, what we're working on in facts is facts. What we're trying to find is facts. That's what, you know, we we, we, th we think it's the way we, wor wor we, we should work. So uh, we, we have engagement, we are committed, we have values, like progressive values. We uh, fight for a society uh, which would be more inclusive, we should be more equal. As I told you, we are very invested in uh, you know, all climate change issues. Uh, we, sh we think that we should fight uh, the far right. That's, you know, commitments, but it's very different from being activists. We are not, we are no activists, we are no militants. That's very different. Why? Because we think that we can uh, publish investigation on any type of uh, institution, any type of parties. And we already did stories, you know, on, on the left, on the right, on the extreme left. We already did stories on, you know, NGOs or unions. Maybe we are close from, you know, to these uh, unions or NGOs in terms of values. But still, we think that maybe this organization, in terms of, you know, uh, the way the way they work, maybe they have harassment, uh, moral harassment in the way they are uh, functioning. Maybe. Uh, you know, the boss is uh, harassing, sexually harassing some of, you know, its salaries. So we have to make a huge difference between our values that we share maybe with some, you know, NGOs or even some parties sometimes uh, in, the, in the field, in, in, the, in the French field. But we are no activists, we are from no parties, from no 
unions from no NGOs because we think that we may always have to investigate on any uh, any organization and also we think that uh, we can uh, you know we can publish stories also about any public uh, figures because this if this public figure has authorities on something on the public that maybe we should we should investigate investigate on this person also sometime and as i told you already what we're trying of course is to have impact uh, we are not just here to understand the world of course we are here to understand the world but what we want is to change the world we want to be you know useful we want to act and to make sure that okay if we reveal information what's going to change after that because of course, you know, you know, the readers, if they see that we are publishing a lot of things and nothing changed after that, they're going to be like very tired of the news and maybe democracy after that. If they understand that, you know, when you're uh, public on the air, uh, information and nothing changed, you know, what's the interest of, you know, being a part of a society? So also we want to make sure that we have um, impact. And we don't, we don't, um, we're not afraid of being disrupt, uh, you know, disturbers or, you know, uh, sports sports. Uh, that's what we're for. Uh, it, it's okay if people don't like us. Uh, of course, in this institution, in the governments, there are the, even a lot of people who hate us, basically. Of course, because we can publish, you know, story. We are going to to uh, public put them in uh, difficulty. So we understand that and we are not af afraid, once again, of being uh, disturbers. And I want to give you, you know, two examples of stories we have been publishing, uh, which had impact on, uh, on, on the field, on the, on the public field. For example, this Jérôme Cahuzac story. Jérôme Cahuzac, sto Jérôme, Jérôme Cahuzac, he was a budget minister for, for the budget. He was uh, in 2012. And uh, he had, um, he was launching a plan, uh, uh, you know, against uh, tax fraud, basically. That's what he was doing as a budget minister. It was his role and it was good, he was doing that. And we published a story saying that this guy, this minister, uh, he himself had a fraudulent account in Switzerland, like a secret uh, account in Switzerland. Of course, the guy denied it. We, we, we knew it was, of course, uh, true. Maybe during the conversation, we, we can have you know, uh, yeah, Q and A about the way we are sure we are, public, like, we are publishing like real information. But of, of course, on our side, we were very sure it was true. Otherwise, we would not have published that, of course. But still, the guy, so he was MP, he, he, will, he had been denied, denied that for like four months. It was very long because all the political system was against Mediapart. Um, it was so, I told you, in 2012 and we were uh, creating in 2008, so we were only four years after uh, our creation, so we were still young. We had like maybe 30 people in our crew. It was still, you know, some kind of a very small and fragile uh, ecosystem. Uh, but still we had good information already. And so we published this story. For four months, it was very difficult because all the political system, they were against us. They were like, oh, this guy, you know, they are not good journalists. They are pa they're publishing fake news. At this time, we were not, uh, nobody was talking about fake news, but basically that's what, what he was saying. And also even our, you know, the people in the media, all the journalists from the newspaper, they were telling, well, probably it's not true because, you know, the ministry said it's not true, so probably it's not true. So it went on like that for four months and then finally we revealed the new information on this field and then the, uh, I forgot to tell you because this minister, he was in the National Assembly, you know, the National Assembly is France, in France is really the, the high place of all institutions. So he said, uh, I have to look you in, in the eyes, you French people, and to, to, to tell you that it's not true. I denied, I don't have any, uh, you know, Swiss uh, account in Switzerland. And then finally, because we published a new story uh, uh, about that, uh, the, huh? the, the, the famous pocket call. 
and he had he had to agree that it was true, and of course he had to resign after that. Yeah. No, but maybe well, you know, it, uh, the pocket call we had it already. The the before uh, that the start of the story we had this story because of you know this guy the the prime the the budget minister he did a pocket call to some you know other guy, but uh, I mean. The, the thing is that uh, our source is not the guy who got the pocket call, it's uh, even somebody else, wh whatever. Uh, you know, journalists, they don't give their sources, that's the principle. Uh, so, so finally, uh, this guy, he had to resign. But, I mean, that's, that, of course, that it was important for us to, to, you know, to have the, 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 the final word, in, uh, the final cut in the story, in a, in a way. Uh, of course, that was important, but what was more important is that after this story, there is um, the, 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 the next uh, prime minister uh, uh, changed the way the system was organized and he had, uh, I have, um, I don't know how we say it in English, la haute autorité pour la transparence de la vie publique. So he was, he, he had, uh, he, he created a new uh, institution that uh, to make sure that MP, they, they would have to have their assets published before being elected. So it was a very huge reform in terms of democracy. Before that, before this story uh, we revealed, you know, uh, MPs, uh, minister, they could uh, be elected and have no control on their assets. And after we published these stories, all MPs and uh, ministers, they had to, uh, to give their assets, what they own, in terms you know, of uh, building or money or whatever, to have some kind of transparency about what they own. So that's a huge, I mean, that's a huge impact, I mean, uh, concerning what I, w w as I told you, in terms of you know, changing things. And maybe also I could give you another example, is a Denis Bopin story, it's a story we, we published in uh, 2016. It was a story on sexual har harassment. And I'm telling you about it because it was in 2016. So we were kind of the first really working on this kind of stories. And uh, now we have been having the Me Too movement. And so uh, there's this huge movement all around the world. And it's you know, very good we have this uh, movement. But at the time, it was not you know, a very um, um, uh, current to have this kind of uh, story. It was very unusual. Uh, so uh, I think that in a way, uh, we were, you know, in a in kind of a head and we, 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 we understood the way the society was going to move. And, you know, I like that. I like that our, uh, my, my newspaper is, you know, listening to the society and understanding, you know, the, the big moves, the big uh, change in the society. So all, also I have to tell you about that, uh, is that Mediapart is uh, very specific also because we are a participatory media, which is that when you get um, a, a subscription to Mediapart, right away, at, at, uh, you know, at the beginning, you can write your own blog. Uh, there was a time in the media field in France that, where there was a lot of kind of things like that, you know, and now it has been uh, going down everywhere. Uh, all the newspaper, there are, most of them, they just have give blogs to you know uh, professors or you know uh, people with a high level education or whatever, and us in Mediapart we think that you know everybody uh, should and uh, and uh, and may uh, write their own blog. Of course, it's not the same kind of content that you know uh, our uh, um, journalist uh, articles. So we make a difference with you know colors, and it's not put in the same place. The, that you know, article. The newspaper is very uh, uh, distinguished in the place where it, the, the, where it goes, and the, the blog goes. You, you 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 can see here. Here are the blogs, and uh, and here that's the like kind of a front page for for, for the for the blogs. And now, so I uh, I leave you and and see the figures. I don't have to 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 read it, but uh, so all the blogs and comments we call that Le Club, 
and so it's all our subscribers who are participating and also I, I gave you uh, I put you a bit of you know some of figures uh, to to make you know how we are on a uh, social media because of course that's our ecosystem it's very important for us to be there to be on Facebook to be on Twitter to be on Instagram if you want to know Facebook is really now going down it's really <laughs> for all people and Instagram is uh, going up YouTube is uh, you know kind of stable and uh, Twitter you know with the, the new it's not Twitter anymore I should put X uh, with the new bus it's a kind of difficult and we sometimes we, we, we are uh, trying to know if we should stay on a, on a, on a X or not because you know it has uh, changed a lot so also I put you all these figures for, for you to understand the way you know or uh, we, we grew in a few so in 15 um, in 15 years so first of all you have you know the subscribers growth mm, so maybe you can see that in 2020 it was a covid time you know when we were all in our house and uh, we were very surprised because uh, we had a huge boom in our subscribers during this time and we didn't expect it that at all because we thought that everybody would be like desperate as we were ourselves uh, but it was not the case people they had time to read maybe more time than you know in usual times so they had time to read so at this uh, covid time it was in march 2020 we had 4000 people uh, 40000 people more in more coming uh, in net uh, coming uh, and reading us and we are pretty stable from uh, this day on so our goal is to still keep going uh, then you have our uh, annual revenue growth and also our operating result which means if you understand a business plan that when it's you know over the row it makes that we are making money and when we are under the row is that we are losing money so basically you can see that we're making money and as i told you this money is not going on the pocket of you know you um, billionaires or whatever it's going in the pocket of media part investing on you know editorial field and that's our staff number also uh, i put it for you because i thought that it was interesting for you to understand that at the beginning we were mainly journalists which was a good idea of course for a newspaper but uh, i think that this uh, reportage uh, you know like half 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 journalist and half um, technical you know marketing people uh, communication people is very good to have this uh, kind of reportation because uh, you know we have uh, we have uh, we have to make uh, sure that our uh, site uh, you know the website is um, uh, convenient for our readers that they can pay you know easily and make sure they have what they want and they are happy with what we're publishing so it's important that to be only I understood that lately that you know to have a good newspaper you have to you have to get of course very good and high level journalists but also all, all other other um, people uh, doing the the job that's very important now that's what i show you before okay and maybe uh, i'm gonna tell you a bit more about um, what we are um, seeing for the future because that's what um, we are where we are now uh, where we are now uh, so if we want to 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 be sustainable uh, in uh, you know in the future um, because one, once again uh, as you understood I, I told it or uh, I, I said it already 10 times <laughs> probably if you have only to keep this message that the only one or you know only revenue comes from our readers which give us our total independence so we have to make sure that you know our readers are very happy of what we are doing so we have sure that we improve you know their experience with uh, the newspaper in terms of you know when they come they understand what we are doing they can um, they can uh, they can write their blogs if they want they can uh, 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 publish uh, um, send it to a friend because of course we have 
this kind of function, of course, to, uh, when you're happy with an article, you can send it for free for a, to a friend, for example. Well, there's a lot of function, as you can imagine, in a, in a, in a newspaper like that. And also, we have, we have to, 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 to keep uh, growing because we think that we are journals. So uh, in a democracy, we want to make sure that you know, all citizens, they are aware of what we are doing. We think that we have a role, like a democratic role, in, the, in this uh, French society. So we want to make sure that you know, people, they, they come to us, they visit us, and uh, they subscribe. And in terms of community, we think that we can um, uh, target uh, um, an audience we should, uh, we, 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 which would be younger and more popular. Uh, so how we do that in terms of you know, younger people to come, to, come to, to us? We think that because we're writing a lot on you know, uh, sexual uh, violence against women, uh, because we're writing a lot about uh, police violence, because we're writing a lot on discrimination, because we're writing a lot on ecology, uh, because we're writing a lot uh, about far right, we think that you know this, all these uh, subjects, they are you know the kind of subject that really interests young people, young audience. So we think that you know we have all the the, the, the keys in hand to make sure that you know more younger people come and visit us, and especially we have a special prize for for them. And also, as I told you, we want to make sure that we are a popular newspaper. We, want, we, we, we don't want to, you know, to have just an, an, an elite, of, you know, very uh, people with a, a lot of uh, diplomas or a lot of money be, uh, being our readers. It would be really not what we are looking for. We want, you know, every kind of people, uh, whatever their background, whatever they come from, whatever they ha have diplomas or not, of course, we want to have them as readers because, once again, it's our mission in terms of you know democracy what we should uh, you know uh, do and uh, so we're trying to be as in our writing more and more accessible so we're having these days it's you know kind of reform we are doing these days we are working on our with our edition desk so to really think about what we are writing the way we are ri writing it isn't it sometimes a bit too long isn't it sometimes uh, a bit too full of detail. Um, how do we put the narration on, on uh, this story? How do we get the um, readers to understand what we are saying? So we're having a lot of you know, um, thinking about that this day to make sure that we're very accessible to, um, to all our readers. And also, uh, we're thinking uh, of uh, experimenting other types of revenue, such as B2B. So I don't know if you're doing marketing in your, in your, uh, you know, in your degree. Uh, so B2B is that when a newspaper uh, is uh, talking to an uh, institution like um, library or mediatek, I don't know, mediatek, uh, or a cultural uh, institution, so that's uh, some one field we are trying to, to invest uh, to make sure that, for example, in Bobo, I'm sure a lot of you go to Bobo in the library, hopefully, no? Or maybe it's going to be closed, but... Uh, Centre Pompidou. Centre Pompidou. Yeah. So, uh, of course, we want to make sure that in the Centre Pompidou, you can have access for free to Mediapart and to all, even if you're not in Paris, because also we want our readers not to be only Parisian, we want to be uh, them to be, you know, from all over France and even Belgium or wherever we can speak French and understand French. And so we want them in all library where they, they would go, that you know, to make sure that they can access for free um, Mediapart. And in terms of conclusion, maybe I can go, you know, uh, on that because I think it's very important for us. We have a huge fight with, you know, all the GAFAM. Um, right now, they are you know, taking over uh, the, the field. Uh, they control the distribution of the information through search and, and giants and you know, so, so social networks. So um, uh, we have to make sure that we're very independent from them and uh, we are 
uh, sure that we don't need them. So of course we need them in a way because uh, we're in this ecosystem. So uh, we need to be seen in uh, their uh, search engines, uh, for example, on other platforms like Google or whatever. We, we need to be seen, but we don't want them to make profit uh, out of our contents, which is the case basically uh, today. I mean, because they're, mo they're making a lot of money through uh, publishing our own contents. Now, you know, they are taking ads, first of all, and also they are taking data from, you know, uh, readers' data from the newspaper. And that's also a fight you should have as individuals and students and also individuals against GAFAM. I mean, you should ask, you know, your all personal data to, to the GAFAM. I mean, everybody, other person should do that. Uh, we are uh, we have the we have the right to ask you know uh, Google uh, where uh, what do they do with uh, our uh, data and uh, how much money uh, they, they they get with that and us as a media we as in the newspaper we have you know to be to 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 have a to, we, we think we have a very huge important role to play in, in this uh, in this fight. Also, uh, we want as a newspaper in France to prevent media concentration in the hands of a few billionaires. As I told you already, uh, we have in the field uh, Bolloré, uh, which is this guy from the far right. And uh, we think he's uh, very dangerous, especially in this uh, content, in this um, time when we have you know, the presidential election ahead of us. And also there's, you know, uh, other people, other guys in the field uh, who have a lot of money, um, like who are working in arms, uh, you know, in a construction, like in, you know, con construct buildings, uh, arms, uh, um, you know, or luxury. We don't, see, we don't think it's very, you know, interesting to have this kind of profile in our, in a, uh, our, our field. We would uh, rather, you know, that to have people um, who's, be, who's, you know, media or edition in the business, and uh, we think that, you know, it, it, the 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 field would be more um, more more interesting. And of course, I'm not gonna tell you more uh, a, a, bit, a, a lot about it because we're really at, at the start of it. But you know, if you have a question, you you can you can try to ask it. I'll see if I can. Uh, uh, response, but uh, of course we face the uh, artificial in the intelligence revolution. Um, we are really at the beginning of it. Uh, we have, you know, strong rules. Uh, we think that, that there should be no link uh, between AI, uh, uh, AI, and uh, and uh, of course uh, our content. Uh, and, and all the, the edition part, uh, but maybe we can use it for marketing or to moderate, uh, you know, some of the blogs. So we have to be intelligent about that and to, to see how it works and to think not in terms of, uh, you know, morality, but in terms of what, what is useful for the public, how it works and where do we put, you know, the, 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 the criteria for us.